boot trees are so important but so underrated when it comes to maintaining your shoe. Uh, if you love your shoe and you want it to last for a long time, it's just, it, it's essential. Um, so what boot trees do is, what shoe trees in general do, is um, they basically allow the shoe to reform after a day of wear. Think about it, the leather's been contorted, it's been pressed by your foot, so it needs to come back. And if there's no guiding form, it'll go back any way it can. It'll, it'll, it'll basically the boot will become out of shape. And so the boot tree with its mold allows the, the boot to reform back to its natural shape. It also prevents the, the onset of creases. Now what happens is when you don't put a shoe tree in the boot, the toe will start to lift, okay? And when the toe starts to lift, that's where you start to see creases across the van. And what the boot tree does is you put it in there and it prevents the toe from lifting and those creases forming across the van. Uh, with cedar, uh, it actually helps wick away moisture. Now, moisture is one of the leading reasons why the lining within your boots will rot. And we, we sweat up to half a pint of sweat a day. And you can imagine what all those salts and acids will do inside the boot. And what the boot tree made of cedar will do will help dissipate that sweat. And so if you love your boots, if you want them to look new for longer, to last longer, boot trees are just an essential item. insert the boot tree into the boot. It's not rocket science, but doing it right means that you're gonna prevent any damage to the boot. So the first thing I do when I insert it is just to engage the spring, just to make sure that's active, okay? I bring the heel up to the fore part of the boot tree and I insert it into the top part of the boot on a 90 degree angle, okay? It means it's gonna insert into the top of the iron boot much easier. And when I get a few, a few inches below, I turn it around. Once I turn it around, I grab onto the back heel tuck. Okay, and I insert it down until I engage the, the bottom of the sole and push the back heel down, and it's as simple as that. And you should feel that there's not much space between the vamp of the uh, boot and the top of the boot tree.